You're finally here. You're late. I say it like I was expecting you because I was expecting you. Though I wish you'd come much sooner. I'm afraid I was somewhat forced to make a bit of a mess while waiting for you. Don't worry, they're not dead. And they'll remain that way if they remain smart. Oh, but I did know you were coming. In fact, I was so certain of it, I even made dinner and started laying out the good silverware. So, I suppose it's a bit ruined now due to our uninvited party guests. Ooh, but if you're hungry, the food wasn't done yet, so it should still be relatively unscathed. How did I know you were coming? Well, I'm not stupid, and I like to think I keep myself generally well informed. It was a really big red flag when all of my job prospects suddenly dried up, and it didn't take much searching to figure out why. Plus, even if I had managed to figure it out on my own, the line of highly trained killers wanting to end my life would have been a dead giveaway. It's a pretty hefty bounty they put on my head. Though, I suppose it'd have to be to get anyone with even a remote chance to be interested in taking the risk of making me their enemy. Still, I didn't quite expect this many to show up. Though some of them are clearly quite green. I suppose that could be the case. My reputation could simply not hold the way it used to due to the fact that I no longer have any supporters apart from some truly twisted long-term fans. And even I wouldn't want to deal with them. Still, even with no resources and nowhere to run, you can't take away my skills. Besides, I had quite a bit of cash stowed away just in case something like this ever happened. You can never be too careful. What happened to me? Well, seems I fucked up in some way. Either knocked off the wrong person, or pissed off someone with a truly absurd amount of money enough to want me dead. Or simply became too big of a liability. Whatever the reason. The result is the same. Whoever can rid the world of my existence first will have enough money to spend the rest of the days in comfort and luxury. And then some. Come on. Don't look so down. Sure. Party crashes aren't ideal. I honestly would have really rather it was just you coming to hunt me down. But I was prepared just in case, so they're really nothing to worry about. Come on. Put a smile on that face. You're about to be unbelievably rich, after all. I know. Not even remotely funny. But if I don't try to see something good that can come out of this... I might actually go crazy. I've actually had to code up until now, and I've been trying so hard to maintain it because I want to leave this world with no regrets. It's been so hard lately. I'm exhausted. And it's not like I want to die. But I know it's just a matter of time. I've thought a lot about how I want to go especially these past few weeks. And I don't think I could stand it if anyone but you were to deal the final blow. I mean, ideally, we could die of old age together. But I think we both know that the moment we stepped into this life, that ceased being a possibility. Either way, I'll be happy as long as you're by my side when I go. We could go somewhere, possibly fake my death, take the money and spend the rest of our lives in the shadows, afraid that someone from our past would come and recognize my face or voice, or if we change those, my personality. But I have no intentions of dragging you into my shit. There's no guarantee that any escape plan we might come up with would work, and I couldn't stand it if you got hurt trying to help me. If you have a problem with killing me while I'm defenseless, I can put up a show of fighting back. But 
Honestly, I'm just so tired. All I want is to finish enjoying one last meal with you and then go peacefully by your hand. The method is dealer's choice, but I would prefer it if you made it as painless as possible. I am going to die, and very soon most likely. Can you honestly tell me that you won't spend the rest of your life regretting not doing me one last favor when you had the chance? Please. You know, you can have these after I'm gone if you want. Hey, don't judge how I'm dealing with this situation. I'm a dead man walking. Let me be morbid if I want. Wait, you'll do it? Really? What a relief. One condition? Name it. Anything. Well, almost anything. Uh, a, a kiss? Who's being morbid now? I never said I wouldn't do it. Oh, how do you want to do this? Do you want to initiate or should I, or do you just want me to say one, two, three, go, or... Mm, mm. 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 That was nice, yeah. I'm glad I got the chance to do that. Pretty sure that was the last thing on my bucket list, actually. Mm. 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 You know, as nice as this is, we don't have forever. You're going to have to kill me eventually. Some trigger-happy idiot with dollar signs in their eyes could bust down that door any second. Which would be really bad if we were both off guard like this. Okay. Mm. Mm. I'm ready. A gun? That's not usually your style. Yeah. Do me a favor and learn how to properly handle a gun before you pick one up again. I know knives are really more your thing, but you're a professional. I feel like you should know better. I don't care if it's unloaded. That's not the point. Yeah. You're right. I don't want the last thing I ever do to be nagging you about gun safety. One more kiss for the road. Mm. Mm. 